Hello everybody, today I'm finally gonna do a mental health update. It has been six months since my last one, so I thought this is the perfect time to do it. Right now. I actually was planning on doing this last month and I started filming it and I was like, mm, no, it's only been five months. I want it to be even and do a six month update. Also, if you have noticed at all on my channel, my hair color is being, is like different in a lot of the videos that I've been putting out. The reason being is that I actually filmed like seven videos um, last month, last, in June, beginning of June, and I actually it was probably, I, I filmed them in like May, at the end of May. And then I edited them all and I posted them to YouTube, but unlisted. They're, they're like private. Nobody can access them. But, so now that when I, like I'm not able to make a video for a week or something like that, I just post one of those. So if you see my hair is really faded right now and then the video I post next week is like, my hair is like on point, you get that I didn't just re-dye my hair again. And also my hair was longer. Just, you know, just so you know what's going on. And let me just, one more thing. I have so much anxiety right now. I have literally no idea why. My heart is like beating out of my chest. But let's just get on to this mental health update. Um, how have I been doing? Not well. I know I look all chipper and happy right now, but literally, the last two months have been hell for me. I have literally no idea what is going on with me. I feel fuzzy every time I start talking about it. I disassociate, like, completely. I don't even think that I'm in the room right now. Um, I feel really confused all the time. I start working on my thesis, and I'm like, fuck, yes, finally, I can get it, and I feel so good for an hour, and then for some, something literally feels like something hit me on my head, and it's like completely blurry and fuzzy. Not my vision, my thinking. And I don't know how to explain it, it's like so confusing and I hate it, I hate feeling like this. I want to finish my thesis, but for some reason the only thing that I can do is just sit down and stare. Sit and stare, yeah that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, work on your thesis. Now nah, I'm just gonna sit and stare. That's how I'm gonna get my degree. So it's becoming really annoying and um, I have been on Wellbutrin now for 20 months. And I was supposed to get off of it um, after a year, so that would have been, I believe, in November. Um, I told my psychiatrist that I'm not getting off in November because those are usually the hardest months for me. So he said, okay, do it when the sun comes out, we'll do it in April. And I was like, okay, we'll do it in April. So I didn't do it in April because I was like, oh, the Philly Trans Health Conference is two months away. I don't want to be all fucked up because two years ago when I went off of Effexor, I was so messed up for the whole summer. It messed me up. So I'm terrified to get off of my antidepressants, honestly. It's terrifying. But I made the decision um, to slowly start weeding myself off of them because, and I literally have no idea if this is a thing. I've talked to so many people, even the pharmacist, they said it could be a thing, but it can't, it could not be a thing. They don't know. Um, and I know that some people are, are on Wellbutrin for like five, 10 years and it's fine for them. But for some reason, I feel like because I was supposed to get off of them for a while and I was only meant to be on them for a year because I'm on them for so long that maybe um, I'm feeling like super cloudy and stuff like that because of the medication. I literally have no idea. This is me speculating. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, but it, it makes me feel really weird and I'm terrified that when I do get off my medication, I'm still going to feel like this. Um, I don't think I need to up my dose. I don't think that's a thing. I've been fine on Wellbutrin for like over a year. Um, I was fine for like... 17 months, I would say. And then after that, it was just like, like I'm okay, but my anxiety has skyrocketed like crazy. I feel really like my decision making is like very poor. Um, I can't concentrate on anything. Honestly, a part of me feels, and I don't want this to be a thing for me. I have too much shit going on. Um, that I might be ADD um, only because I feel like my mind is so scrambled and goes everywhere all the time. I can't concentrate on anything. Um, the only thing though is that with ADD, I feel like you forget a lot of things and I don't feel like I forget things, but maybe I'm forgetting about them. I don't know. This is me just like speculating. I'm not self-diagnosing or anything like that. I am going to see my psychiatrist at the beginning of August. The issue is that I would have already like started to go down on my medication. I'm on 300 milligrams of Wellbutrin right now, and in a week, um, I start going down to 150. So I'm terrified of this. I don't know what to do. I wish I could have had an appointment with my psychiatrist sooner, but I mean, like, that's how it works, right? In Quebec, you just got, I'm surprised that I even got it in August. I'm lucky. But anyways, I feel so scrambled, even right now, even making videos. I am so glad I made like seven videos at the end of May slash beginning of June because I haven't posted all those videos yet because I have made other videos at the same time. I'm so glad I have those videos on reserve because I feel so messed up that I don't feel like I can make videos. My transtastic videos are all over the place. Somebody even said, 
like you should make videos when you feel like this. No, I'm gonna still make videos. This is my life. Honestly, I I I feel like I might be going into another like huge phase of depression, which I don't want to happen. I feel finally so good about everything, but no. Um, but uh, I'm still gonna make videos. Honestly, like. There are like two or three things that I actually look forward to, so I'm going to keep making them, and I want to keep making them. So that's what I'm going to keep doing, because making videos I love, and it's my life, and it's what I love to do. The only thing is that I am disconnecting myself a lot from the internet, so if I'm not replying to your messages, please don't get mad at me. Please understand that I literally am not even replying to my friends. I'm trying to get out more as much as I can, because I feel like I'm a fucking hermit in my house all the time, and I'm never outside. So I am actually waiting for Aaron to come over right now. He's like about to walk in that door so I can go outside. Um, but I am trying to disconnect. I went camping um, two weekends ago and honestly, it was so good. I did not have my phone on at all. I just turned it on once a day to take my picture and that's it. It felt so good to be disconnected and not have to worry about anything. Sure, I had anxiety about all these other things that I'm supposed to be doing, but man, it just felt so good. I felt so like at peace and like not right now not how I'm feeling right now though not how I'm feeling right now I'm like <laughs> oh me news triggered by that sound so I don't know if you guys have any insight on what um, I might be going through or if you maybe have any idea why I feel so cloudy it's almost like I have a brain freeze but it's not like I have a brain freeze like I didn't drink anything cold but like, you know when you have a brain freeze, you can't, you just stop. You have to stop. Everything just doesn't work and doesn't make sense. That's kind of how I feel. It literally feels like there's a wall, like, right here on my brain, and it's just pushing on my brain this way, and it's like, you're not going to be able to do anything. You're not doing anything. It literally feels like my brain is being squished, which I know is not a thing. I'm just telling you this is what it feels like. Calm down. <laughs> but so far, that's it. In the last, like, two, three months, I really haven't been feeling that great. Um, other than that, I felt really good, and that was fun, but I just, I need, I need, I need something. Also, I don't have therapy, I don't have access to therapy, and I don't have money for therapy, okay? I know that people are like, oh, you can find money. I, I can't. For every week to pay, like, literally, $60 is like a dream. I make no money, so I would probably pay the, if it's on a sliding scale. Um, I would probably be lucky if I got $70 a week. Still, no, no way, I can't. I cannot do $28 a month. $28, oh my god. <laughs> $280 a month. I, you are literally killing me, me thinking that I can do that. And no, I don't have insurance. No, my school doesn't pay me back. I think I get like two sessions paid back, which I've already done because you only get it for a specific type of therapy and I've already used it for my physiotherapy. So that I, I don't win in any of these instances. I've tried everything. I'm not trying to marinate in my problems and like, um, like not find a solution. I'm trying so hard. So um, I, yeah, that, that's where I'm at right now. I wish I had therapy at the same time of getting off of my medication because I feel like it would make it a lot easier. So I guess what I need because people are always like, what do you need? And I never really answer them because it's always like, what do other people need? I feel like I always have to like, not please everyone, but kind of like help everyone. And I love helping people and that's what I want to do. And I feel not obligated to help people, but like, not like it's my duty, but kind of like, I want to do this, but I want to do it. Um, but I guess what I need is for everyone watching to like understand that I am going through a hard time, but I am trying as hard as I can to get out of it. Um, I am going to try to find a way to get therapy again for free. I'm going to go to the Douglas, which is a mental health hospital. I had a horrible time there. Honestly, horrible experience. Aaron had a hor horrible experience there. I'm going to try so I can get therapy, actually get diagnosed with the fucking shit that I got, um, so I can get help. But what I need is, I guess, like understanding that I cannot answer messages right now. Um, even people who are close or close-ish to me, like... I have maybe 150 messages on my Facebook, usually I don't like to get it over 70, I usually, okay, I'm going to answer them all now, but I can't, I look at them, I want to pee, uh, all my d DMs on Instagram, I can't, my Twitter is like probably the only place that's like less mild so I can go on there and I don't feel anxiety, but Jesus Christ, I feel like, I don't feel like, like everyone's relying on me, but I feel like right now I need to just focus on myself and like feel better. Um, but I'll be back, yeah, and if I feel better in the last, like, in the next two months, then I'll make an update. I won't wait six weeks, six months. Jesus Christ, I'm all messed up, can you tell? Anyways, that's it for this health, mental health update. I'm so sorry if it was, like, eh, to you. Um, I am trying as hard as I can. I am trying to get better. I am 
the camping was really like revolutionary for me. Um, I am going to be spending more time outside. I am planning a very long trip across Canada um, with Zuja, and we're gonna go camping and stuff like that. So as much nature as I possibly can can grasp in the next like three months is what I'm going to try to do. So yeah, I'll let you know. And if I talk about this trip more, I, the more I plan it, I will make a video on it. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what I got. I have so much anxiety. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyways, have a great week. I feel like I had so much more to say about this mental health update, but I like not saying it. And I feel kind of bad because like I've been waiting so long to make this video, but I will make an update video, probably a vlog, if I feel different. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and let me know if you can think of anything. Thank you, have a great week. Bye.